we're going to start our second posy for the day, another wedding bouquet. Uh, this time we're going to leave the flowers on their natural stems to make that bouquet, but we're going to support wire them. So you should always support wire your flowers, particularly for wedding bouquets. You want them to last. So the wire not only will hold the head up, but it also protects them if they get bumped or anything. It just stops their heads getting knocked off. So there's, that's, there's, there is that also. So our material today, we've got some roses, carnations, um, some jonquils, I've got some early cheer, uh, some lavender, a little bit of viburnum and some ivy berry. So a nice mixture um, of the cream flowers today. And I'm going to show you how we're going to support wire all of these. I'll start with the roses. So what we're going to do is remove all the leaves and just possibly a petal or two. Now when we cut those wires earlier today and I asked you to save those little thirds, that's what we're going to use today. Okay? So you can just grab one of those and for the support wire you're just going to poke the wire just into the calyx there, just a little bit and then you're going to parafilm over that. And then I want you to grab the end of that wire and parafilm over that. So you're just fa making that secure. Okay, so that's your support wire. And it's the same for your carnation. Okay, so we'll remove all the leaves. This time just goes the same thing, just straight up into the calyx. A little bit of parafilm around there to secure that at the top. You can even do a bit in the middle if you like. All right, that's that. Now the jonquils, I'll show you how to wire those. Again, we'll use this wire again, 0.7. Now this time, we're not going to run the wire along the outside, we're actually going to insert the wire and it's going to run up the actual stem, yep, because it's hollow in there. So this is when you become a nurse, it's like putting an IV in, I think. So you're just going to poke that in there and just you don't want it to come out the other side you kind of change direction and you'll be able to insert that up so it's like an invisible wire it's a bit creepy you get to the top here and it stops you'll feel it stops where it joins it just want to push it just about a millimeter in okay so the wire is up there but it's invisible you can just cut that little bit of extra wire off and then you're just going to parafilm over that. So just putting like a little band-aid on there. Okay, but that's got the support wire inside it. So I'll do that one more one more time for you. So just now you can wire daffodils like this, any of these type of flowers that have the hollow stem. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter, Tiffany, just... Okay, so that's the jonquils. <clears throat> now the lavender is the other thing we're going to support wire. So what you're going to do with the lavender is remove all the little leaves like that. So 
So it takes a little while, but... And we're going to do the trusty old figure eight again. Okay, so you can make a little group like that. And this time I'm going to use the even finer wire. I'm going to use the 0.4, which I don't think I have. So figure eight, we're just going to bind that around like that to make them into a little group, okay? Bring the wire down like that. Cut that wire off and then just a little bit of parafilm over the wire at the bottom. Okay, so we've just done a little group like that. All right, um, now the foliage we are not going to wire but we're going to prepare it. So just like you'd make any other posy, we're going to cut it up into pieces. I've got the viburnum here. So just stripping back any leaves that will be below that junction. So this one, I cut that into two. Okay. And the same with the ivy berry. So I'll cut this into workable pieces. These lower leaves, you don't need them. Okay, so just nice clean stems there to sit below the junction. All right, so your preparation for that one is to support wire all those flowers. Okay, so I've got my foliage ready. Again, I can, I'm happy to lay my foliage and some of the hardier things down on the bench in front of me. So that's all my lavender that I prepared. And the foliage as well. I just put it into groups. And again, my flowers, I keep them in a jar or at bars, I should say. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to start in the middle and I'm going to work out, okay, with this posy. But again, it's going to be quite tight. It's a wedding bouquet. It's not a real loose vintage bouquet we're doing today. It's a more traditional, similar to the bouquet we've just done with the wires, but with the natural stems. So I'm going to start with a centre flower and I'm going to build on that and build out. I'm going to spiral my stems. So I just start by adding a bit of foliage. flowers. So going to come in on the side like that, a little bit lower down straight away. This is going to be my highest flower and then we do that little turn. So there's just a little row of those. I'll put some of this lavender in. So it's just adding like we did, we've done before with a posy, but a nice tight style. Okay, I'll put a 
little bit more foliage. Alright, some of these jonquils. Just keep churning your bouquet so you get that nice even coverage so it'll end up being round. Roses. So it takes a little while to build it up and for it to feel secure in your hand, but as the more you, the bigger it gets, the better it'll feel, like it won't feel like it's falling apart. Takes a little while though to build it up. Okay. Some of this ivy berry. any time if you want to you can always tie it off if you feel like um, your hands getting sore or you need a bit of a break or it doesn't feel secure you can always tie it off all right so you just keep going and as it's getting wider these placements are coming in lower to achieve that domed shape So I think the more textures you have, the nicer these look, having the little bits of lavender, the ivy berry, the viburnum. Just to break up those big flowers. Okay, now a couple of my sims broke, so I had to wire them. Okay, so often in floristry we have a combination of both. You will have some wired flowers sometimes. I've got a couple more roses. I might just put some of these through the centre, which you can always do. Just go through, make sure it comes out in the same direction. Kind of twist it until it makes its way out. Okay, I've got one more there.
All right. Just going to finish off now. So these last placements, actually, they can be quite short. Just going to come right up and under and like backing off really. So this is where if you have any short pieces, really, really short, this is where you can use these ones up. Okay, so. So the backing leaves kind of finish it off, but they also protect the bottom. And it helps you with that, that nice rounded shape as well. So if anything slips down, just go from underneath and pull it out. Okay, so once you're happy with your bouquet, with the shape and everything, you can cut it off, cut off the, um, the stems. Now I'm going to cut most of, quite a bit of this away because I can see where my lavender is a bit short. So I'll cut most of these long stems away. I'll recut that again. until it's the right, in the right proportion with the bouquet. All right. Just gonna tie this off. You can parafilm now if you want to, makes it nice and sticky, but I just use a tie. So nice and tight, pull that nice and tight. And now just rest it on the edge of your bench so you're not crushing anything. And tie that off. What you've got to do now is look below this junction and if you see any wires, you want to trim them away. Okay, I know I've, I had a couple because of those carnations. But we want it to look as natural as possible. So if you see any parafilm or wires, we'll just try to cut them away or remove the parafilm. Some of it's going to get covered with the ribbon. So I'll, have an, I'll take another look at it once I've done the ribbon handle and just double check that you can't see any parafilm. I try, usually try to straighten my stems out a little bit now. And any big woody stems I try to remove if possible. Because remember, someone's got to hang on to this all day. And if you have any little bumps or things sticking out, it would be quite uncomfortable. All right, so the final thing to do now is the handle. So I'm going to use some nice thick ribbon this time. Got this blue. So what I do is I just put my finger on top there and a little bit similar to what we did earlier today, just wind that ribbon down and when I get about that far down, I just need enough for my hand, okay, you don't want it too long because it'll go in water and it'll get all wet and everything. 
when I get down to the base there, I kind of straighten it off. Okay, so it's come down on the diagonal, but then I want it to finish straight. Now you need to pull this in tight. And now I'm going to come back up again. All right, so I'm going to go right up to cover where I tied off with that bit of jute. Up as high as I can, okay, because I don't want my bride to have green hands. Cut that off. And with this piece I have left over, I can just tie that into a knot. If you wanted to, you could put a bow on there, or you can just leave it just hanging down. For extra security, you could even put a pin in there just to hold it up. But yeah, just try to make sure that you've covered your um, piece of jute. Now again, I just have another look at the stems, and I can see some parafilm there. So I'm just going to just remove anything I can see, just really basically around the edge. Okay, and that is it. So that is your natural stem posy. Okay, so this one obviously takes a lot, doesn't take as much time as the fully wide, but you do get a bigger a bigger bouquet and you've got these big stems to hang on to all day okay so um, yeah they're both acceptable um, this one's much more popular these days the natural stems which it looks nice as well to see the stems I think mm -hmm.